by sharing my screen with my uh, several year old yes. picture up there. <laughs> yeah, looks great. I, I have much more gray hair than that picture, uh, but then I think <laughs> that's what we all do on Zooms nowadays, right? Pick yeah. something yeah, anyway. But anyway, so um, <laughs> I'm Bud Shaw, Solution Architect um, with uh, uh, GSI. Um, over 30 years, Solution Consultant, 24 years with J.D. Edwards. There is my contact uh, email and phone number information. And, you know, um, as always, when I do these, whether it's a, just a, a show recap like this one or a, a webinar on, you know, with functionality or topics, you know, I reach out to me, uh, email, phone, whatever. Better off email. Sometimes I don't pick the phone up unless I know who you are. Uh, but better and, and but to leave a message and I can get back to you with any questions or follow-ups uh, uh, that you may have uh, during or after this presentation. So um, the uh, what we're going to cover here is just so in focus uh, was this year um, as it has been every year. And I'm just going to do like, you know, an overview of my thoughts and impressions, kind of a summary of the show. Um, the big, big things, you know, Oracle's directions for JDE, you know, what's the future? Um, and then a lot of what happened at the show and what was going on was orchestrator and tools enhancements with a lot of how customers um, and uh, uh, and partners were using um, tools and particularly orchestrator uh, to uh, better improve their businesses and business processes. So, um Start with a uh, general thoughts and impressions. I mean, I was really quite pleased, you know, how well attended it was and lots of content. I mean, there were, um, you know, um, uh, uh, I don't, it just was, and maybe because normal in focus is usually in winter in Denver. Um, it was nice to have it in the fall. So the weather was pleasant. Uh, the Sheraton was a good venue, um, easy to access, a lot of, uh, restaurants and things in the neighborhood if you wanted to go out and we had some parties and things like that um but you know the the uh this the 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 venue itself had a uh, good space for the showroom and for all of these sessions um, um i think it was well organized and publicized and you know just overall very positive energy um you know you, you know the uh you know the jde user community that was there and this was all jde right um we're very upbeat on JDE and, you know, the future uh, going along with it. Um, so there was a lot of information shared and, and, and passed on. So, you know, the, the events really started on Wednesday morning. That was uh, September what 27th um, and then finished into Friday afternoon. Um, I think as we counted, um, it was all it was all J.D. Edwards. Um, there were 439 J.D. Edwards customers. That's more than Blueprint. Um, Blueprint, of course, included, you know, not just JDE, but, you know, um, uh, Oracle and, and PeopleSoft, um, but there were more JDE customers here um, at, at, at InFocus. Um, and again, all, all JDE. Um, I counted around 55 partners, and there were, this I think is mind-blowing, there were 20, 225 sessions. You know, a lot of the sessions were live use examples given by uh, customers because, um, you know, and, and I and encourage you, you know, as you do things with JD, especially the newer tools and features in JDE, you know, uh, you get a free pass to go to the show, you know, if you present um, and, you know, and if you want a co-presenter, let us know. I mean, I presented, I think, um, five sessions. So um, um, and different topics all around orchestrator, including one of which was called a super session, um, which was very well attended. Um, but I think there was tons of good information um, to be had, not only by the, uh, the user community, um, partners and, and Oracle. Um, so a lot of live examples, you know, um, and I have a list if, um, of, of specifics and, uh, you know, if you if you. Uh, can get access to the InFocus website, you can get, you know, the recordings and the PowerPoints and things like that as well um, for it. So, I, like I said, I think the, the big impression to me was a lot of live use examples of JDE in action solving issues, uh, people taking advantage of particularly tools and stuff like that. Uh, so, this was our booth um, at the show. Uh, like I said, the showroom floor was very, very nice. 
Um, we had a, a nice booth. These are um, they were actually uh, this is uh, Bro uh, uh, Maddie and uh, Olivia are a uh, couple of Brooks cohorts in the marketing team, um, managing the booth and things like that. Um, and then there was a session. So I've got a, quite a few pictures just to show you that we took. So uh, this is me along with uh, Scott Sears, um, who is our sales rep. We did a super session on, you know, uh, JDE, your future with JDE. Um, and it was really, I was almost spooked a little bit. It was so well attended. This is how many people were attended that session. Um, so that's, you know, several hundred um, people were very interested in, you know, uh, where JD, where we saw JD Edwards was going, not just an, an Oracle spin on stuff, but us as a, as a JDE partner and customer, I mean, user, you know, what we saw the future of JDE is, and um, that's actually a, a presentation that we can provide to you kind of separately um, uh, uh, aside from the show. Uh, we, we did it as a webinar as well. Um, and it was just, you know, useful to say, you know, what's the direction of JDE from a, you know, what, what can you do enhancing with tools and the future of it and things like that. Um, there were several, you know, uh, 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 parties, if you will, uh, this was a, a party we we hosted at one of the local places. It was packed with people. I'm um, just having a good time. Uh, a lot of tech talk and stuff like that. But again, when you talk about a positive vibe uh, for uh, for JDE and, and Oracle, um, I felt it all over the place. And this is from the from the the this the um, the uh, the podium view if you will, of, of the session. And you know, the Oracle had their own introductory session, which was a little more well attended than this one, but we still had quite a few people um, in that super session. Uh, this is uh, uh, me and uh, Aaron and Jason, uh, sales reps uh, for it. And of course, then that's uh, Olivia again. Um, and we're at the booth, lots of giveaways and cookies and fun. I mean, the whole environment, the whole uh, view, uh, feeling was positive, you know, just like the old days for me uh, going to um, uh, uh, tech shows, you know, with lots of little giveaways to bring home to your kids and conversations and energy um, with each and every partner. And I said there, like, there were, I think there were 55 partners, each one of them having a booth like ours. Um, I guess it was maybe a little bit bigger and, and better than, than the others. But then, of course, then I'm uh, um, a little bit prejudiced. So <laughs> this is one of one of uh, the the uh, session rooms, uh, probably one of the and actually, I don't know why we picked this one. It's probably one of my less attended sessions. Um, but we were talking about uh, uh, enhancements and orchestrator. I think I did one of the. Uh, 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 kind of a walkthrough of using orchestrations for uh, sales order processing enhancements and stuff like that. But you know, each room was was well was well supported and maintained, um, recorded. Uh, PowerPoints were were put up on the website that you could follow through afterwards. And and I, again, I, every session I did, and I did about five of these or uh, four or five of them, um, was very interactive. People were excited, were into it. Um, and for somebody like me, that makes it really, really, really uh, 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 useful. It makes it a lot more more energy, you know, for it. So, um, you know, kind of a, that's kind of a, a summary of the show with thoughts and impressions, if you will. Now, what's important, I think, where it was really was the, the motivation for a lot of people attending was to, you know, where is Oracle going? So release 24 is on its way. I thought it would be released by now. I was on a workshop the other day, they call them task force. Um, and it still hasn't been officially released, but we did get a, a view of some of the enhancements and things uh, that are coming in release 24. Um, as soon as we know for sure they're they're out there, uh, we'll be putting together a webinar to highlight a lot of those for you. Um, and then along with that, you know, they, as Oracle does every time, every year around this time, they uh, extend Premier support. So Premier support is now uh, uh, extended through uh, 2034. Um, you know, these are some of the things there's that are in there. Uh, there's new tools enhancements and applications 
uh, like one of my favorites is, you know, that you can put a location on hold, which you could never do. So something's wrong with the inventory or whatever. And, and I'm going to show you one of the things they did um, and, in a, in a walkthrough process enhancement and release 24. Uh, other things like uh, some of the applications are not just doing enhancements, but taking advantage of some of the processes and workflows. There's, you know, finance department has uh, new workflows for accounts payable workflows, a, a couple of them, for example. And so, you know, there was a um, accounts payable a voucher could be put on hold, but the workflow, there was never really anything there. So now there is, and, and this is, you know, I'm a, you know, there, this is supposed to be in release 24. I've seen it in action. Once we know for sure and we get our hands on it, we'll know for sure. Um, so uh, just keep on uh, taking with with Premier Support going through release 24, take advantage of a lot of these features and many of these things. And they're getting little bumps in each and every release, like orchestrator, logic extensions, you know, aggregations and analytics. Um, there is a new in release 24 coming in. So that'll be, you know, nine to, you know, uh, eight, I guess will be the tools. We'll find out for sure when it's when it's official. Um, there's a monitor, a graphical monitor for workflows. So uh, a lot happening in around since they moved workflow from uh, the fat client to the to the uh, orchestrator studio, a lot has happened uh, around the wor uh, workflow, um, and then now they're enhancing, allowing for monitoring what's going on, and then there's some other things along with those workflows, you know, which are they they call a task monitor, um, which in the new release. Um, assuming it'll be there for sure, um, is when you've been sent a workflow to do something, uh, you can uh, do a tickler to be reminded, you know, to follow up on it uh, in, in you know, in a week or so or something like that. So that they call it a, a task monitor uh, within it. And then there's workflow monitor just to see the workflows, where they're at, how long things are taken and stuff like that. Um, some of the sessions highlighted use of mobile tools. You know, people, uh, partners and customers doing their own thing with, with mobile. And then a hot topic is, you know, artificial intelligence, you know, which you would expect. And I'm still, you know, working through some, you know, the use cases for AI with, with an ERP like JDE. I'm getting some better sense of how it is. I, I went, I attended uh, one or two sessions on it. Um, and I can see the theory and things, see the things happening. I don't know that it's really soup yet, but um, it, it's it's on its way and, and it's now coming coming uh, uh, forward. So it was a, definitely a, a hot topic, um, um, a hot topic, and will be more and more going further uh, in, into the future. So uh, several of the the sessions were around AI. Um, um, and I think we'll see more and more coming, coming, coming along. Um, so uh, release 24 in the fall. Uh, uh, again, it's it's already fall. I, you know, they said any day now that it's going to be blessed and 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 released. I'm glad Oracle's taking their time before they release it, so make sure it's is pretty good. I mean, I have seen in the past so many years the releases are pretty stable, not very buggy. Right, so there's more application enhancements, which include process of workflow. I'm going to give you an example of one here in just a minute, um, and more tools, innovation, innovations, then more technology enhancements. A lot more around security, um, package uh, building and deployment. You know, um, uh, ESU application. Uh, they're doing a lot in the technology side. Uh, if, if you will, if you will, to you know, see an ESU, uh, an update that's being released and, and see how it affects what, what objects in your system. So easier to work with that all before you actually take and apply it. And then of course, if you, if you don't know, you, you can apply uh, ESUs using the web. You don't have to go onto a fat client anymore. So you can do it on the web. And so you can, and all these are web applications, you know, so here's the ESU, what uh, objects does, what areas it focus in on, what objects does it touch, you know, and then it can show you, you know, core and custom objects, which I thought was pretty cool uh, that, you know, this ESU may may affect. So that's kind of a, a lot of what's going on in the technology enhancements along that area. 
So one of the uh, demos that they really went through for us, uh, which I really liked, which was, you know, they called it weathering the storm. So the idea is, is, is a warehouse has a leaky roof, you know, or, you know, an air conditioner leaks um, and it damages inventory in the warehouse, right? So um, a, somebody walks the floor, sees this issue, right? Um, and then, and, and this, so these are things that are already out there um, in, 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 in release 23. And all these are release 24, which again, is supposed to be coming out now and I, we saw it live so it was it was more than just uh you know uh, uh smoke and mirrors it was it's real software coming i just gotta wait for it to be uh uh, uh, uh released so uh, some of the things were uh automating calculation of sa safety stock along this and and this whole uh idea of of a process was some where inventory in the warehouse gets damaged right so the uh somebody reports that as an issue uh that report launches orchestrations to notify uh, uh a uh, 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 uh the, the procurement manager to uh, uh look at safety stock jde now can automatically calculate safety stock um for it um and make sure that it has enough safety stock that location where the water damage occurred um, can be put on hold. That's the new one of the new big enhancements. Um, and then uh, that, along with that location being put on hold, uh, there's notification sent to uh, maintenance to go ahead and fix the leak or whatever it is, to procurement to make sure that they buy uh, inventory to replace this damaged stock and even a cycle count to make sure that the, the, the current level of cycle uh, of inventory is there so that uh, when the automatic calculation of safety stock runs, it sees that adjustment in inventory and does the proper thing. Uh, then there's reminders that in this case reminds the planner to rerun MRP because you know the inventory has now been changed by uh, the, that location being on hold and that inventory is no longer available. And then this new workflow monitor to see you know the workflows uh, that this whole weathering the storm process is triggering you know to be able to look and view of it. So this is you know and they they walk through this live um, and I've actually seen it twice now. So. Um, it's very real in the coming soon, and by coming soon, I believe release 24, which uh, should be by the end of the year, I believe. So uh, that's kind of where we're at. Oh, hang on a second. I got to sneeze. Okay. All right. Shoo. So these are some of the summarizations of uh, where uh, JDE is, highlights are features that are already live from the past and what's coming in the future, right? So some things like Global Lot Master or Nacha Data Security. So these are enhancements that are going to be be coming up and they're planned and many of these are work in process already uh this like like this location holds uh work in process should be released and release 24 i talked about that a couple of times and stuff like that um so you know jde is continuing to evolve not just in the tools which are have been to me have been one of the greatest areas of, of enhancements in jde but also in in um in the applications themselves uh, with enhancements. I talked about the, the, the uh, finance enhancements and you know, we've seen in the past, you know, procurement, uh, advanced pricing enhancements and, you know, uh, um, and adjustments and things like that. They're going to, things to simplify uh, RMA processes and stuff like that. And, you know, these I think are more, you know, planned or, and or work in process. But again, we'll see when we get to uh, release 24, when it actually comes out, you know what what what's going to be in there and and uh, what the future will be um, the future what they're saying they're predicting or what the um what the uh, researching in j in jd is predictive maintenance so that's kind of one of those things where ai are gonna one of the areas are going to focus in on ai um, enhancements to quality control uh, you know, automating the, the quality holds and, and processes and, and your uh, test results and things like that uh, within it. Um, one that should have been out a long time ago, supply chain optimization. So several of these, even warranty analytics and things like that. Some of these will be just, um, uh, I believe, will be enhancements into like orchestrator 
and logic extensions and things like this, but many of these will you know, take uh, artificial intelligence into play once they, they get sorted out that that really will work with JDE. So, you know, intelligent manufacturing with uh, uh, artificial intelligence embedded approach. That's what they're, they were, they're researching it. So I don't know quite know what that'll do or be when it, when it comes out, but this is the list that they said that they are, um, Oracle is researching for the future of JDE. So, you know, uh, you can see where it's really not so much new modules because JDE is very mature, been out there a long time. The modules are there, but it's enhancing the modules to make JDE more valuable um, uh, uh, for for you guys um, and, 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 and your users. Um, so the release, you know, the roadmap has continued. Now we're going on to release to 2034 for uh, uh, maintain, you know, uh, for um, uh, 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 Oracle, so, you know, support, you know, premier support through 2034, 9273. We'll see you nine two when release 24 comes out. I think it's going to be 928 uh, on the tools level, and then you know it'll keep on going. There seems to be no end to uh, uh, where where um, where JDE is is going in the future They're definitely moving into into uh, a direction into the future direction so um, uh, there is a lot new with orchestrator um, and a lot of it came out from the release 23 and now and then into release 24 so uh, these are things uh, uh, kind of a list of things. Um, release 23, here's, we saw text attachment APIs. Those are out there already. Uh, and, and, and 927, uh, 927, two and three and four. Uh, you, uh, these are, you know, user-defined orchestration modernity. These are not there yet. So I'm thinking those, are, I highlighted them in yellow. I think they'll be coming in release 24 um, where, for it. And then, you know, where they're at, They've got some uh, items in backlog, you know, uh, uh, enhancements to enterprise, uh, e renamed the inputs on, you know, one pages and form extensions. So, you know, uh, where you just, you know, the inputs that come in, you know, if you've ever done that, you know, it's kind of cryptic using the actual, you know, alias name in JDE or whatnot. So be able to rename that so that users can take, uh, it make uh, more, lot, you know, easier for people to deal with. Uh, especially from a, a end user perspective, um, and their uh, customer requested enhancements. I, I know one of the things they did release here in um, in the uh, uh, in release twenty three that I was always excited about. And I actually have a workshop, or, I'm sorry, a webinar that I've done on this one um, is to pass the application version into a a form uh, extension. So you now can have a form extension that is different based on the application version. That's been always a sore spot with a you know, form extension uh, that um, uh, um, not a personal is even a form extension that uh, uh, was because it uh, made changes to the, uh, the, the application specs. There would only be one for that application. Well, in release 23 in the middle, I think it was 9272, uh, that enhancement got out there where you can now have a form extension uh, uh, that behaves differently based on the application version. So that was a big hurdle towards taking advantage of that uh, 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 user interface tool, stuff like that. So um, logic extensions kept getting a lot of enhancements in it, um, um, including, you know, uh, uh, calculations and uh, and um, um, having the uh, um, um, math functions and and uh, text functions in a logic extension, you know, do average, you know, sum total automatically uh, as it goes. So you know, there's enhancements keep keep going along in the orchestrator and logic extensions uh, for it. So um, there is been and will it still looks like to continue to be you know, more and more tools enhancements for us to take advantage of. Uh, so uh, kind of getting to the end, uh, you know, release 23, release 24. Uh, if you go to release 23 and learn JDE, you can take a look at a lot of these uh, coming soon features by, uh, here's a screenshot of the learn JDE re release 23 page. 
and you can click on the coming soon and it takes you into allows you to do a quick tour of some of these enhancements that are coming in uh, the end of release 23 and into release 24. So I encourage you to, I mean, that's, you know, one of the things that was, you know, a nice uh, to have edu learn for me. I, I go to the release app to learn JD all the time, but I, I don't always pay attention to that coming soon button that's out there, you know, um, so you can take advantage of that to know where, where uh, JDE is going in the future. So, and uh, at that, oh, wait a minute, there is a uh, uh, coming in May of next year will be the next year's Blueprint 4D uh, back in at, at the Hilton Anatole in Texas, which is uh, good. I've been, you know, been to there, there before. Uh, last year, they moved the Blueprint to uh, Vegas and, and uh, MGM Grand. I particularly wasn't a fan of that uh, uh, uh of that uh, venue, so I'm glad to see it's 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 coming back to a better venue. I mean, I think it makes all the difference in the world where these things are held, uh, and hopefully we'll uh, get you know, more and more people to come, and we'll see you there. So, uh, with that, I am going to stop sharing and turn it back to Brooke. Are you there, Brooke? I'm here. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Bud. It was great. And I love the, the you give us a feel for what it was like to be there, you know, for people that couldn't. So. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I really did. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right. I just have a couple of follow up items before we move forward. Um, be sure to check out our website. It's just getgsi.com. We have webcast newsletters, a resource center full of YouTube links with our recorded webinars and then also we have um, virtual workshops right now so those are all things to look forward to on our website and keep you updated with everything that we have coming up there's that and so there still is a moment to enter any questions that you have i did just send out a link to a survey for today's webcast you have an opportunity to win a 25 dollars amazon gift card and um, it will pop up after you close the Zoom for, um, dashboard as well. So that being said, I'm just going to check real quick. Awesome. Okay. Bud, any final thoughts or anything to wrap up with? No. Oh, this should oh, check. There's one. Uh. Is Oracle working on allowing use of some of the new tools in Power Forms? Didn't hear anything about that, but I'm not quite sure what you mean by power forms. The, you know, like the sales order P42101. Uh, oh, 13700. Uh, 13 is, I, mean, I got to take a look at that one. Work orders. Uh, I'm not, I mean, I don't know why you couldn't use them now. Um, maybe, maybe Kim reach out to me. Um, um, I don't, because that's just a regular application, and I don't know why I couldn't, you know, uh, put an orchestration or a uh, form extension or form personalization. It may be just your security, Kim, uh, allowing you to get to it, you know. Uh, so um, uh, reach out to me. Um, yeah, you should be able to, I'll take a look at it and, and double check. See, pre-13700? Yeah. Uh, and let me. And that was Kim Lacart. Yep. All right. I'll, I'll I'll take a look and see. Sometimes it's just you know the way you you navigate and work with it. But I haven't done that one, so uh, you know. I, I, but I get onto it and do it. And I have a I have a nine two seven uh, uh, four environment, so I got the latest and greatest because there is some new stuff in in the latest and greatest. Um, you know, you can put a watch list on a on a tile on a page and uh, more uh, or uh, extension uh, features and stuff like that. So I'll take a look. Uh, and I got you. I got you written down here, Kim. So either ping me with an email so I don't forget, or when I get a chance, I'll, I'll, I'll work on it. I'll up with you. All righty. Yeah, Brooke's a pretty good taskmaster. So <laughs> awesome. She herds five boys at home, so yeah, she can, oh, yeah. She, she, can get us, she can get us to do whatever. I can do pretty much anything now. Yeah. Right? Right, yeah. <laughs> oh, awesome. Okay, there looks like one more came through. Okay, Kim put a smiley face. Yeah, thanks, Kim. Yeah. Thank you guys so much, and thank you, Bud, so much for, for this. And 
Um, this will be recorded and put on our YouTube channel for any additional, if you'd like to share it with any um, coworkers or anything like that. And if you have any questions, again, there's our email and our phone number. And then I think Bud shared his information. You will be receiving a follow-up email as well. And we thank you guys so much. And we hope that you all have a great weekend. Thank you, everybody. See thank you soon. You. Bye. 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 Bye.